This is Ken Pyle, and we are at the uh, Cable Labs CableNet display at NCTA 2014 with Rob Aldefert of uh, Cable Labs. Rob, we're looking at something that is really a pretty amazing considering it was only a month ago that the FCC released a lot of new spectrum in the 5 gigahertz range. Why don't you explain what we're looking at? Absolutely. So what we're showing here is essentially the future of Wi-Fi as a function of the new spectrum that was released by the FCC. We're showing uh, the new spectrum that was released along with the latest Wi-Fi technology, 802.11ac, to get about 2 gigabits per second, as you see on the big screen here. That's pretty fast, uh, much faster than the current state of the art, 802.11n, which we see on the left-hand side running at about 300 megabits per second. Now that's still fast compared to what most consumers have in their homes. It's going to be about four or five times faster than uh, most home connections. But still, the AC setup is about eight times faster than even that. So just to give you a sense of what that means, make it a little more concrete. If you do the math, downloading a movie from iTunes, it's going to be about a six gigabyte file uh, for an HD movie. And that would take you probably about 15 minutes with the speeds that most people have in their homes today, maybe a little longer. With gigabit networking, that's going to take 30 seconds or less, so really fast. And now you have, uh, in this new spectrum, there's wider channel bandwidths than the traditional 802.11, right? That's right, and we can actually uh, show you specifically the channels we're using here on our spectrum analyzer. We're using the new spectrum that was released along with the existing spectrum at the top end of the band that was already available. We're bonding those two channels together to produce the speeds that you're seeing here. And you really need significant spectrum to get gigabit networking over Wi-Fi. Now, I'd imagine since it's the same frequency band roughly, uh, propagation would probably be similar or uh, are you looking at similar type of characteristics to what you have today? That's right. So Wi-Fi uses both the 2.4 gigahertz band as well as the 5 gigahertz band. There are just inherent physical differences between those two bands. 5 gigahertz doesn't travel quite as far as 2.4. It's still pretty good for home networking though and, and uh, local area networking and outdoor hotspots as well. Uh, the cable companies through the Cable Wi-Fi Alliance and, and otherwise are using the 5 gigahertz band in their network. So uh, we're pretty excited about the new spectrum and the speeds it offers. So now we are looking at uh, clearly it's a bread box type of situation here. Um, and uh, as I understand it, it is truly a cabled uh, approach here. You're not actually beaming it over the air for this demo, right? That's correct. And we're showing some of the initial AC products on the table here. We have Apple's latest Wi-Fi router, as well as the Motorola X and Samsung Galaxy S4 smartphones. Those all have 802.11 AC. But the specific approach we're taking here to bond these two 80 megahertz channels together is something that's not available until the next wave of AC products coming online later this year. So we had Quantena build us some custom equipment to simulate what that technology will be able to do. That's what you see here. We are running it over the wire because we're on the trade show floor and it's a very congested environment. Well, so you, it may actually be as soon as the end of this year when we actually start to see products for the what the FCC um, you know just released uh, a month ago then, huh? That's right. So some of the AC products that are out there now will be able to use the new spectrum that was opened up as, uh, as soon as the FCC finishes its authorization process. Just the ability to bond those two channels together is something that's coming in the next wave of products. Okay, that's exciting. So they had thought ahead and they had the tuners wide enough to, uh, to get that extra bandwidth, huh? Yeah, that's one of the great things about 5 gigahertz is when you make more spectrum available for Wi-Fi there, the devices can generally see the entire band. So it's really just a matter of a, a software upgrade in order to make use of that new bandwidth. That's something that's pretty unique in the world of spectrum policy. Usually it takes a couple of years for a spectrum to get in consumers' hands. Wow, that's remarkable. I had no idea and that's great insight. So Rob, I appreciate your time. Okay, thank Thanks. you.